kind of a shocking number of Europeans <clears throat> say that you should only be able to fly four times in your life. <laughs> Is that because they're concerned of the bed bugs that might be on the airplane coming from no. Europe? Or? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. I'll give you another guess. What do you think it might be about? I don't know. Climate change? <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, I started. You I nailed it. I just threw it, it out there. You oh, nailed man. it. Boy, how'd you get there? A new poll shows that a shocking number of French <laughs> citizens support banning people from flying <laughs> more than four times I'll in take, their life. I'll, okay, I'll take your flights then. Due to climate change. Wow. That's so dumb. It was a poll done by a uh, research firm, Consumer Science and Analytics Institute. They also found 41% of citizens would support such a limit. That number rose to 59% among 18 to 24 year olds. Wow. Well, this study certainly wasn't <clears throat> done by the airlines, I'll tell you that. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> wow, that is crazy. It's ridiculous. I mean, what if you've used up all your four flights uh, and you have a loved one that died, you know, Sorry, you what? can't attend the oh, funeral. There we go. Everybody, can, everybody's got an excuse. Can I? Can I? Can <laughs> We're I? Talking about the climate. Can I buy credits <laughs> to, to go see you no, know, the funeral? No, no you can't. No, no, I'm sorry. What? Do you care about the planet? No. No, I, you don't. No. Uh, no yes, I do. Don't. I mean, let me ask you a question. Do you have your own plane? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. That the elites will get a pass if they have their own <laughs> transportation. Man. Yep. You're right. That that they apparently don't emit pollution. This leads no, us leads us to something fabulous from Klaus Klaus Schwab. Hmm. I have a hard time saying that guy's name. <laughs> Klaus Schwab. You got to kind of stop in between the Klaus, Klaus and the Schwab. <laughs> Head of the WEF. Check this out from Klaus. I've worked on climate change for 25 years. I've worked on climate change since 73. So you just to tell you because now. I was the person hmm. who gave the clap of Rome the first big platform. I share with you the concern, and um, I think we can solve those issues only if we repair our global architecture and our global system. Wow. (laughs) Did you catch that? Did you catch that reference he made there? Something we learned about on Friday on the show? The Club of Rome. Something that... The Club of Rome. Of I had never Roman heard of brought it up since on our, the Friday since show. Our, yeah. uh, guy from uh, Epic News. That's the first did it in his documentary. Yep, that's the first I'd heard about it as well. And remember, that is the organization uh, huh. that we talked about on Friday that that said, "We hey, um, we got the fall of communism. We need a new enemy, and that is uh, mankind itself. Wow. We got to use. We got to. And they're doing the a good job of that, aren't they? And look, look who they're has been a part really of it because well. Club of Rome." was first organized in 1968 and mm-hmm. he just took credit for giving them their first big platform in 1973 uh, I mean, yeah mr show off i've been yeah. did you catch that so <laughs> right right i've been involved in 73 yeah. why don't you shut your face sweetie <laughs> yeah i mean he, they spill the beans when they uh Get a little arrogant yeah. there and have to jump in there and yeah. correct oh yeah well i'm more into the climate yeah, that's than you. exactly right i'd love to know if what he was fighting in 73 was right. climate cooling. I thought that too. Oh, bet it was. Let's see. Club of Rome. Bet it was. And then he just shifted the focus. No, I'm sorry. We're not getting no. We're not getting colder. We're getting way too warm now. That's the thing. And it's brought on by the exact same thing. <laughs> 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 really? It's CO2 in both cases? Yes. Yes. Either an yeah. ice age is coming or we're all going to burn up. Oh, okay. And e- those are both either CO2? Way, either way, we're yes. in trouble. Yes. Either way, we're in trouble, and we need a lot of money. <laughs> a lot. Like, a, well, maybe $100 trillion might do it. Might. Oh. We'll get back to you. After oh. we spend the $100 trillion, I don't want to commit we'll to see. that. Yeah, I, I don't want to yeah, commit to that. Can't do a hardcore commitment. That's just a soft, soft commitment. Because you never know. Yeah. You just never know. Well, you don't. I mean, have we gone down the point? three degrees we need to or not we'll see at the end of the hundred trillion (laughs) i don't know oh my gosh it's agonizing the sheer unadulterated stupidity and they just keep moving forward yeah they just keep plowing through and raking in the money yeah it doesn't and it doesn't matter how wrong they are how many times they're wrong it doesn't matter yeah doesn't matter they just keep plowing forward And nobody calls them out on it, except us. That's about it, you know. Uh, Talk radio calls them out a little bit. 
Fox and doesn't talk. And, and Klaus isn't talking to us. I mean, no, there's not a chance. No. I mean, Klaus won't even drive, could wouldn't even be allow his motorcade to drive past this building. But uh, you know, he, there's mm-hmm. no way. So he's talking to some lady who thinks she's been involved with climate change, you know, for 20 years. And Klaus is like, okay, thanks for your little 20 years. All right, <laughs> yeah, that's it. cute. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> it really is, Putin. But uh, yeah, I've been fighting this yeah, thing for fifty. <laughs> okay, before you were born, I was fighting this. Hey, you heard a little thing called the Club of Rome? Yeah, that's me. Actually, know. until last week, I'd never heard I of had the not, Club of Rome. Not me either. I I, I never heard of it. Yeah. Yeah. We need to we need to do some serious investigation on the Club of Rome because that's weird. 